we got a cruiserweight division matchup coming up next, and it's between members of two tag teams that are kind of both on the hunt for those tag team titles that were successfully defended by the cult at Edge of Midnight. Jimmy Hotkeys would like to uh, hook things back up with Cameron Lee and uh, get the Aces of Base back on the road again, but obviously Cameron Lee... Um, Still our TV title holder after climbing the ladder at Edge of Midnight in that chaotic match. Yopter bringing Bjorn to ringside. Of course, uh, they lost in the steel cage in that tornado tag match. And what is being called one of the best tag matches of the past couple years. So definitely a very good match. But alas, it was an L for the Ravens banner. And Yopter bringing Bjorn to ringside here. I don't know if that's fully necessary to bring the big guy to ringside in a cruiserweight division match like this. We'll have to see if that causes any issues, especially since Jimmy Hotkeys, Cameron not available for this match. He's in that TV title match later tonight. He's taken on Yuki Faita, the no, the now former Triple Hero World Champion. Jimmy Hotkeys coming out to the ring here. He is pumped up. He has been pumped up for a long time. Extremely excited to be here. Looks like he could be on a career renaissance this season. Obviously a one-time tag team champion. Currently looking for another win. He's uh, trapped in that big 44% ranked mid-pack. Last win was on the 11th of December against Razor Cuts. Jimmy really needs a W here to keep things going this year. But he's got a tough opponent. I'm a, I had to make a correction here. Jimmy Hotkeys' last win was on Tuesday Night Encounters over Razor Cuts. So he's been on TV. He didn't get to make the trip out to New York City. But you got to feel like he'll make the trip to Slamuary if he gets the win in this match. Which, by the way, I am ready to announce as we uh, get Bjorn. Bjorn is not in this match. He's, he's the manager at ringside. And yet he is hopping up on the ropes like he's going to take on... Jimmy Hotkeys. He after clearing just clearly just letting the big Vikings show off. Jimmy is actually going to be facing on Yupter. Yupter now standing in the center of the ring. Actually, the one in this match, Bjorn looking intimidating as though that's necessary at all. I guess Bjorn is Yupter's bodyguard in this match, maybe not his manager. But as I was saying, uh, as we get ready to start this match, we're ready to announce that. Oh my goodness, Yupter really. The these two oh well not tie up Yupter is going to go right after Jimmy Hotkeys here Yupter of course calling out Trav Karan via Lura Skumped wanting a shot at the Cruiserweight Championship that Trav Karan just won at Edge of Midnight that would be a huge matchup and definitely a career matchup for Yupter who continues the attitude here against Jimmy Hotkeys oh, I keep trying to make the announcement that uh, Slamuori will be held in the JWL's hometown, we're going back to Des Moines, Iowa, the birthplace of the JWL for Slamuary in January. That's right, the January pay-per-view on January 20th, 2018. We're going to be in Des Moines, Iowa, and we will broadcast that live on Twitch. And it will be also on the Monroe, or I'm sorry, the MMWF network as Jimmy with a big, super back body drop off the top rope there. Hockey's trying to work on Yupter here, get a win. Here's the pin. Yupter, of course, has not been defeated yet in singles action. He's taken two tag team losses 
but he has a big old donut in the singles loss category. He wants to keep that going tonight, but Jimmy is going to the top rope early in this match. Big cruiserweight action and a big cruiserweight elbow drop from Hotkeys. And Yupter's having some problems now. Yupter, of course, that big lumbar check has been so deadly this season. And Jimmy Hotkeys has been using the has been banging the ivories all this season. That punch combination. So both these guys have some big finisher moves as Yupter goes for the pin here and gets a one and a half. Mount Pleasant versus Sweden here. Some international flavor. Neither of these guys from Columbus and a big dangerous move from Yupter who body splashes a cross body on Jimmy Hotkeys out of the ring. And now you got to wonder if Bjorn's going to get involved or if he's going to stay on the sideline. He really does not need to get involved against the smaller Jimmy Hotkeys. As Yupter continues trying to get inside Hockeys' head. And you got to feel like a little bit he's trying to get inside Trav Karan's head, the cruiserweight champion. As we are up to a five count here, these, this is starting to get dangerous, but Yupter reels, wheels Jimmy back into the ring. Yupter, a win here would be a huge statement. And the crowd, no response there on the taunt. Here's the pin from Yupter. One, two, and the trickster gets a two count. Bjorn looking on silently. And of course, we remember when Yupter was at ringside as uh, Bjorn took on Joshua. Those two had a match that Yupter ended in disqualification when he interfered in the match. Hopefully, Bjorn does not do the same. Jimmy, a big knee to the face. And now signaling that it might be time to end this thing. Got to get away from Bjorn, though. Couple of clotheslines. Jimmy could be looking for the comeback to put this away. Yupter was slow to get up. Jimmy's going to help him up. Tried to bang on the ivories, and it was a big block by Yupter. Scoop slam. Jimmy is down, and now Yupter again with the booty shake. Channeling Party Boy, I'm sure. Yupter tuning up the band. Coming right over. There's the sweet shin music. Some music of his own to counter the rhythm and blues of Jimmy Hotkeys. Now Jimmy's got to be careful. He's taking that sweet shin music. Yupter goes down, though. Hotkeys with the pin after the slam. One. Not even a two. Got the reversal. Hockey's with a big kick to the back. Hockey's obviously a little bit fresher. You got to remember, these guys were just in New York two days ago in the steel cage. Jimmy didn't have to do any of that. He certainly was not in a ladder match either, but Yupter looks to be putting away. Jimmy here could have the lumbar check. It connects. Hockey's... Eating the lumbar check. Is he going to be able to kick out? One, two, and wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bjorn was holding. Was Bjorn holding Jimmy Hotkeys down? Taylor Tyrod was not in the position to see that. I, I don't, I don't believe that. We're, we, we got to check the replay. We have got to check the replay here because I think Bjorn may have been holding Jimmy Hotkeys down in that match. Big butterfly DDT on the replay there. There's the slam. And the deep two. Oh, no, but not a deep two. I'm sorry. There's the lumbar check. And sure, you see you see Jimmy roll over. And we, don't, we don't have footage of it. Wait a minute. We, we don't have video. I, I can't believe it. Did we? Did Bjorn still manage to help out in this match? And help his guy Yopter get the win? 
And now he's continuing to harass Jimmy Hotkeys outside the ring. That's completely unnecessary. Well, the Ravens banner sending a message in this match. We're going to continue on here. We will see you in just a few moments here on Monday Night Versus.